There was a point where, at least in our region, where half the transactions were being done by people coming here from the GTA. I do think as an overall trend, we will see listings moving a little bit quicker than what we have done over the past two months. I do expect the fall market to be continuing to be a balanced market. We're going to be continuing to get lots of inventory. And I think we're going to continue to see more and more buyers enter the market now that the rates have uh, been announced to be uh, holding for the time being. I think the level of activity is going to continue to be strong as far as overall pricing goes. We may see a bit of a spike over what we've seen in the summer market. I don't believe it's going to hit spring market numbers, but I do think that if you're selling your home, you may get a bit more money in September and October than what you may have in July and August. I think that will probably round off the year because the closer we get to the end of November and even December, I think we may see some buyers decide to kind of step away from the market until just after the Christmas break and the new year. But I think a a lot of that is going to be impacted by the next announcement with interest rates, which I hope they're sensible and don't raise the rates. I hope they keep them where they're at because it's going to continue to provide more confidence to buyers to get into the market. And of course, buyers are the ones buying the listings out there, which allows that seller to go on with their journey and perhaps buy another home too. But I mean, even from a retail perspective, to be perfectly honest, many of these retailers out there are going to be making the majority of their profits in Q4 of any given calendar year. And if you hike up the rates and just make life a little bit more unaffordable for people, then of course people do not have that additional discretionary income to be able to support these retailers out there. So I think there's multiple ways that the interest rates are going to be impacting the final quarter of this year, but I, I hope that they're going to continue to keep the rates. Whether they lower them or not, I don't think they're going to be lowering them, but it's certainly I hope they keep them where they're at right now. Well, I would say that all of these markets, whether it's Hamilton, whether it's KW, whether it's London, whether it's Guelph, we're all heavily impacted by what goes on in the GTA. And there's no question many of the sales that have taken place over the last number of years have been from GTA, people looking for life in the suburbs. When we start to see Toronto heat up, then we have to be prepared that the outskirts are about to feel a bit more intensity on the listings and we're going to start to see perhaps pricing going up slightly. There was a point where, at least in our region, where half the transactions were being done by people coming here from the GTA. That number has dropped off slightly because many of those buyers are finding the real estate that they want within the GTA, within Mississauga, within Milton. They don't necessarily need to come to KW to get that better deal. When they come here, they are getting more real estate for their dollar than hypothetically Milton, but it still kind of keeps them, if that buyer's got a budget of a million dollars, they don't need to come to KW now to find that house. They can find something closer to the GTA, which keeps Kitchener Waterloo off the radar, which keeps certain buyers off the radar, which of course diminishes overall activity in this region, which isn't a great thing.